Sports fans in our state may soon be getting their wagers ready. A bill that would legalize sports gambling is a governor's signature away from many being able to bet on their favorite teams. Alyssa Hefner spoke to residents about the sports betting bill, and she's live now from Greenville. Alyssa? The state house gave its final approval on a bill that would allow those 21 and older to place bets on horse racing, professional, collegiate, and amateur sports. Since 2019, sports betting has been a debate among lawmakers, but now the end is in sight. Just make it legal for a change. <laughs> There's so many bookies in the state, why not go ahead and legalize it so the state can, can, can make some money on it. House Bill 347 was introduced early in the legislative session. However, it's faced significant debate and changes, such as increasing tax rates and adding wagers on horse racing. Lawmakers also agreed to allocate money from license fees and taxes to several different areas after the Department of Revenue and Lottery Commission received money for expenses. They include $2 million annually for the Department of Health and Human Services for gambling addiction education and treatment programs, and $300,000 to the athletic departments at several universities and colleges, including ECU. Despite the large number of discussions on the bill, there are still some people unsure about it. As a parent, be mindful to share with your kids the pluses and the, the pros and the cons, really, of, of betting. I mean, it's probably not a good thing. It's hard to make money and it's easy to lose. Most most people that bet don't win. Currently, sports betting is allowed on tribal land in North Carolina. But with this bill, in-person books would be allowed at eight sports venues throughout our state. Governor Rory Cooper still needs to sign this bill in order to make it a law. But if he does so, sports betting could start as early as January 8, 2024. Reporting live in Greenville, Alyssa Hefner, WITN News. All right, thanks, Alyssa. If approved, the NC Education Lottery Commission would be responsible for the administration and regulations of sports betting.